Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. By the way, that's Napoleon. Bone, bone, bone apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today, Brad, we're going to show you the top two exercises uh, for someone who has sciatica or a pinched nerve. Pain down the leg? Yep, pain down the leg. Sciatic and the sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the leg, the largest nerve in the body, I'm sorry. It goes, the pain often goes down the back of the leg, mm -hmm. down into the calf, can go into the top of the foot, bottom of the foot. It's pain. Right. This is real pain when you get nerve pain. So we're going to show you two exercises. The first one, we're assuming that the pain may be coming from your back. A pinched nerve up there, maybe a disc, some type of problem. So if you're getting some back pain along with it, this is the one you're going to want to try. Right. All right, Brian. All the time, long-term sitting, I'll irritate it. All right. Yeah, bending, sitting. So you're going to start off, what I first want you to do, and this is a McKenzie exercise, is what it's called. And you're going to start, you put your head off to the side like this, and you're just going to lay like this for a few minutes just to calm things down. Some people, Brad, can't even lay like this, can they? Right. Some right. people actually have to start with a pillow underneath right. them. Right, put a pillow under uh, there. Yeah, to, to, to lay that way for a while. I've seen people like that. Then, if you can do this, then you're gonna go ahead and get up on your elbows. And you can do that for a minute or two. And the important thing about this is, is as you're doing this, the symptoms, the pain, numbness, tingling that is down in the leg or in the foot, they should be resolving or decreasing. Decreasing. The pain in the back might get worse, mm -hmm. but the pain in the leg should get better. Or it should be unchanged. Mm -hmm. right, right, Brad? Because you may not even get any change when you start off with this. Now, the final step of exercise number one is you're actually going to put your hands underneath your shoulders and you're going to start pressing up here. And you're keeping your pelvis down on the mattress or on the bed or on the floor, wherever you're at and you're going to bend up like this. And you want to go up as far as you can, and again, you're looking for the same thing. You're looking for the pain and the numbness and the tingling to go out of the leg or out of the foot. Mm -hmm. Right. And you're going to keep pushing up, and the further you can go up, the better. If you can go all the way up like this, fantastic. And you can do 10 repetitions of this and move all the way up. The further and further you can go, the better. And you're, again, you're looking for symptoms to decrease in the leg. If they're increasing in the leg, you may need to see a therapist who's going to have to give you some little different spe uh, specifics on this, on how, how to do it. Right, exactly. All right, this is a great thing to try if you're having sciatic uh, pain. The second one, Brad, is going to be what we call nerve flossing. Sure. And then you're going to show that one, aren't you? Yes, Bob. All right, you're going to be over here mm -hmm. on the edge, and I'm going to go ahead and do some filming. Leopold, the Theopold, wherever it is. Okay. Napoleon. Napoleon. <laughs> Get Napoleon out of the way. All right. Okay, now, we've got a piece of tape on my foot so you can see specifically the, the movement that needs to be done in the ankle. Brad, can I say something first? Sure, of course. In this instance, quite often what, what's going on is that there's some scarring on the sciatic nerve. Uh, maybe some scar tissue and it's binding down. And we're trying to get the nerve to glide really well again. So this is what the, we're trying to do here is to break that scar tissue free and help, help the nerve glide. Same thing here, you don't want to irritate the nerve too much. So when Bob says scar tissue, a lot of times this is with people that had a back surgery a few months before, an injury, a, a, a bad backache, something has, has usually created the scar exactly. tissue. Exactly. Okay. Everybody? And usually you just start off by kicking the leg out straight, yeah. Brad. No slumping. Yeah. And then if you can pull up like that. Now you may feel the calf muscle stretch and the hamstring muscle stretch. And you know muscle stretch, but when you feel the nerve stretch, it's going to hurt in a different way. It gives you that uncomfortable feeling. And you're not going to go too aggressively. And we can repeat this, and it should improve. And actually, I did have some nerve pain because I know what that feels like. And it's getting better as I stretch. I mean, it's real minimal. I don't have any... So yeah, you don't want the pain to get worse as you're doing this. You can just bump up against the pain while you're doing it. So when we're doing this, if you slouch more, head forward more, it's going to pull more when you pull the toe up. If you're up here, it's going to be a little less because that nerve actually connects up to the spine and makes one long track all the way up to the, uh, to the, to the brain, actually. So day one, Brad, you probably just want to straighten the knee and, and uh, bend the foot up mm -hmm. and do 10 of those. Yep. Day two, if that's going well, then you may want to go ahead and 
Bring the toe up and bring the head up. We're going to do the flossing now. All right, this is yeah. the floss. This is the and then head down, foot down. Good. He toe up, head up. See how that goes? Toe down, head down. Toe up, head up. It's a little complicated. That's why we keep repeating. Toe up, head up. Toe down, head down. Toe up, head up. Toe down, head down. Ten of those. And that's it, Brad. That's the flossing. Nothing to it, but it can break that nerve loose. And again, it should respond by feeling better as you do more of them. Exactly. If, if you get real sore later on or the next day, you've overdone it and you need to either not do it or don't do it near as aggressively. Right. And eventually, if, if that starts to feel better, there are more aggressive stretches you can do, but I just didn't feel comfortable in showing those. Sure, right. So I, right. I, there's some uh, aggressive McKenzie stretches they do. But all right, if you haven't already, you're going to want to subscribe to us. We're great guys to watch, right, Brian? You better believe it, because we can fix everything and almost anything except for what, Bob? Broken heart. <laughs> all right, see you later. Yeah.